Hello friends, let's now study about a home, um, an organ in the, uh, the male reproductive system that is responsible for producing the male hormones. So that organ is called as the testis. The testis plays a role not just in the, uh, in the reproduction uh, phase of uh, an individual, but it also plays a role in the secretion of the hormone called as testosterone. So testosterone is the hormone that is responsible for uh, development of the male characteristics okay and uh, uh, both the uh, normal development as well as the physical characteristics of a male so the testis is actually a small oval shaped structure okay so there are a pair of testis they are twin oval shaped structure about the size of a large grape and they are present in a bag in a, in a skin fold called as in a skin pouch in a loose pouch of skin called as the scrotum okay so this is a uh, the term scrotum so within the scrotum is present the testis and it is present outside of the body and is known as the penis now the reason why this organ is placed outside of the body is because it cannot uh, if it is present within the body it will be exposed to the body temperature of 37 degrees celsius that will affect the formation of sperms so a cooler environment is important for the production for the healthy sperm production and that is why this organ is placed is located outside the body in the scrotum okay so there is no muscle or bones to uh, protect the, the testis so it is uh, prone to injury if not taken care of so this if you see is a picture of the testis and it is an anatomical picture it is uh, connected to the convoluted vas tube and then it, it has a corpus epidermis around it okay then there is a testicular blood supply tube okay so here is another picture in which the testis is present in the scrotum and it is connected to the seminal vesicle by the tube called as vas deferens now the purpose of seminal vesicle is to produce semen and uh, we know that within the testis is the sperm production as well as testosterone production okay so seminal vesicle produces semen okay and testis produces the sperm and testosterone and they connected by the vas deferens tube now we will see that the testosterone release is controlled by the anterior pituitary luteinizing hormone whereas the sperm production is controlled by the anterior pituitary follicle stimulating hormone as well as the gonadal testosterone so sperm production is under two influences the anterior pituitary follicle stimulation hormone and gonadal testosterone whereas the testosterone is under the influence of anterior pituitary luteinizing hormone now the uh, hormone of the testis okay that is the testosterone it is uh, the primary androgen okay and it is uh, uh, important for proper physical development of boys and there are many procedures that happen in in the young uh, boys that will uh, because of the effect of the testosterone so as they age as they enter into puberty uh, these kind of changes will occur in their bodies so there will be uh, development of the male sex organs, then the growth of facial and body hair, then lowering of the voice, the voice will deepen, then the increase in height, then increase in muscle mass and growth of Adam's apple. So these are the character, few of the characteristics that we see in boys when they enter into puberty because of testosterone hormone. Now there are also functions that the hormone does in uh, a male adult, okay such as maintaining libido, then sperm production, maintaining muscle strength and mass, then promoting healthy bone density. So these are uh, a few of the characteristics which uh, the roles that sterone hormone has on male adults. So the production of testosterone is controlled by the hypothalamus as well as the pituitary gland. Okay. So now the hypothalamus will send a signal to the pituitary gland okay the pituitary gland will produce two hormones okay they are gonadotropic substances so the hormones produced by the pituitary glands are follicle stimulating hormone and 
luteinizing hormone. So two hormones, okay. So the uh, luteinizing hormone will stimulate the testosterone production, okay. Now, uh, what happens is if too much of testosterone uh, is produced, then the hypothalamus will alert the pituitary gland and there will be less testosterone production. So how the hypothalamus alerts the pituitary gland is by giving a signal to make less luteinizing hormone. So less luteinizing hormone production will cause decrease in the testosterone levels. Now effects of abnormal production of testosterone. So let's look into some of the effects of abnormal production. Okay. So a condition in which low testosterone is produced in the male bodies is called as hypoandrogenemia or generally it is called as hypogonadism. So hypogonadism is um, is, relate, is relating to the sex organ. So in the case of males, it is the uh, testosterone or the androgenemia. So it is called as hypoandrogenemia, okay? Organ that produces androgen, that is the testis. Now, hypogonadism or hypoandrogenemia, both refers to the same in the case of males. So it is a testicular disorder uh, associated with low testosterone production. So what are the, some of the symptoms or characteristics of hypogonadism? It is decreased sex drive so, and there is less muscle, diminished muscle mass, low sperm count which could lead to reduced fertility or infertility, loss of body hair and erectile dysfunction. So these characteristics are seen in hypoandrogenemia. Okay. Now hypogonadism can be because and can be because of many factors. So if it is a defect of the gonads, directly if it's a defect of the uh, sex organ, it is called as hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. Okay. So if it's affecting the uh, gonads directly, it is called as hypergonadotrophic hypogonadism, or it is known also known as the primary hypogonadism. So that is seen in Klinfelter syndrome and Turner syndrome. So in both these syndromes, what happens is the male characteristics uh, is affected because of the defect of the gonads. Directly the sex organs are affected. So that is a primary type of hypogonadism. And uh, mumps is also known to cause testicular failure. A viral disease called mumps is also known to cause testicular failure. Now, hypogonadism can also be caused because of an effect in seen in the hypothalamic or pituitary glands. So that would be called as hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. Okay. So if the hypogonadism has been caused because of an effect or uh, disorder in the hypothalamic or pituitary glands, that type of gonadism is called as hypogonadotropic gonadism or secondary gonadism. Okay. Now the secondary gonadism would refer to the central nervous system being affected. So that would co could be because of a tumor in, in the brain that has um, caused uh, an effect in the uh, or a dysfunction in the hypothalamus or the pituitary gland. So and, uh, there's a syndrome that is, uh, that is happening because of this. So that syndrome is called as Kalman syndrome. So a syndrome of a secondary type of hypogonadism, hypogonadism is called as Kalman syndrome. Now there is another condition called as hypergonadism or hyperandrogenemia. So in this condition the testis will produce or the gonads will produce excess of hormones, okay, excess of testosterone. So that will manifest in precocious puberty. That means before the, uh, before the child, before the boy reaches the puberty age itself, uh, the development characteristics will be seen okay so this can also be a sign of some tumor uh, that is present in the uh, gonads so it can be caused because of a tumor production in the gonads and sometimes it, it, it is more, uh, malignant but mostly it is benign so what is uh, the uh, what are the symptoms seen it will be seen as precocious puberty rapid growth in adolescence and high libido acne and excessive hairiness. So what are the symptoms seen in, in the case of hypergonado, 
uh, gonadism in which there is excess of hormone production before the person uh, the child reaches puberty so that will that will cause precocious puberty then rapid growth in adolescence there will be a lot of hair excessive hairiness high libido and acne so some of the symptoms which are associated with uh, hypogonadism is that in males if you see if it is it causes precocious puberty then there's rapid growth in, in the adolescence and uh, high libido then there's acne production and excessive hairiness okay thank you